the Lamborghini market's on fire, my Countach is now worth five million bucks. The way you drive, I don't think anything's reliable. My biggest regret could become the best decision ever real quick. It's probably enough. After a wild event at Broad Arrow, we're here at RM, and you know what? It's hyper car shopping time. I'm just, I'm just putting it out. Now listen, I have a Veyron, and it's a really nice car. That's a car that I've been building and building and building and building. It's, it's it, honestly, it's kind of more like art than a car, you know? Both these guys hard. here think I'm crazy that I don't drive that car, but it's just, it's not gonna break if I don't drive it, you know? So if I keep it off the road, we're all set. And to be honest, I really like driving Bugattis, but like that's kind of a car I take my wife out to dinner in. You know, it's like my, my daughter. I don't really like to drive it like a maniac. Although I do use it as you a maniac. But as a maniac. I truly belong in a Koenigsegg, and my biggest regret in life is selling my Agera. But that's only because I have not bought another one. So my biggest regret could become the best decision ever real quick. And we're here at RM, and they have a bunch of cool cars for sale, but there is a carbon exposed Regera there. Now this is the copy of the Phoenix, which is uh, the Agera RS, the actual last one delivered in my opinion, or I think, um, but the besides the two FE cars, the Phoenix is a pretty sick car. Now the Regera version is a really shitty car, but it looks really good. And the estimate here is super, super low. I don't think, it's going to sell anywhere close to that. So Nick, you want me to get this car, don't you? Do not buy this car. You want me to get this car, Unless right? Unless you want a nice paperweight, we could use yeah. it as art. Uh, you want me to buy this car, right? Um, sure, why not? Okay, well, so- you, Better than the Bugatti. You, are you confident that this car is gonna be just as reliable as my other car, my other Agera? The way you drive, I don't think anything's reliable. Okay, <laughs> anyways, Kalai doesn't know about Regeras. He doesn't know that Regeras do not start 90% of the time, and that's, I don't know why, I really, it's just we could use art. it as art. Yes. Parking in the house. But you, we're going to have to push it because my yeah. art, like the Veyron, it starts and it drives a little Hang bit. It on the wall. Yeah. So I think what we should do right now, we should skip the Regera and just get with the program. Instead of going on amazing hypercar shopping journey and shopping and showing you all the cars I probably won't buy, let's just start focusing on the cars that are actual options. Right? It's a good idea. Okay. Cool. Yeah. We have zero options right now. <laughs> We've only got one car. Well, let me say, I'm gonna say two cars here that I'm gonna bid on. The one right behind me, I just, I really, really want this car because of the spec. It's got the Tricolore stripes right down the side. The little, little touch adds something. And this just, this color, no one knows this yet. This color tone and spec is something that's coming soon to my life, my channel and everything. And this, this is just beautiful, beautiful. I thought it was carbureted because the hood was so big. It's not, it's fuel injected. So this is the 85 plus Countach engine. Now it makes it worth a little bit less money. Fuel injected cars are probably 250 to 300, something like that. So if this sells in the 350 to 400 range, we're talking about another huge record. Carb cars have sold in the high 300s at auction. There really hasn't been a lot of action on LMs yet, and I think that we're really close to the LM boom because they're starting to move. And you hate this car because you don't think I could daily drive it's it. It's worthless. In Vegas, you could daily drive it? I'm gonna do it. You'll do it once. Not I'm gonna once drive it to work one time. Yeah. And it will break down. And you're gonna switch your ass off and you make, that's it. It has that AC. You think that thing works? Oh, I know how's it works. It, I know the Countach, the Countach, Countach works great. is the best AC I have in any of my cars. Better than the Bugatti. I don't know why, but it's the best. Now let me walk you over to another car that if it goes low, I'm a player, okay? If it goes high, I, I or if it sells for what the SRN is, I'm definitely not a player. The Celine S7. Right 
here is absolutely mental. This car here is not a turbo variant. So I personally think it should be around a $400,000 car. At $400,000, I'm a buyer on these cars. Anything more than that, it just kind of sucks, you know? It's just, the twin turbo cars are in the mid sixes, sevens, eights. This car here, closer to 400, I'm in. So I'm going for S7 LM, and uh, I think that's all I have. I have to check the catalog. Oh, the loft is right over there. We know my friend Brandon, 458 Destroyer, has, he gifted me a La Ferrari at one point for about a week and I drove it and I had the time of my life. I think it's absolutely one of the by far best cars, period, you can get, you can experience. It is mind bending how amazing that car is, but they are challenged. They don't have batteries that currently work. Their hybrid systems are having age issues. Now these cars are now 10 years old. So Ferrari is no longer required to warranty the batteries after eight years. Uh, and so the hybrid system and everything now has to be updated to a new version, which that sucks because that right there is going to cost you not just the 200,000, but eight, 10, 12, 15 months. So today is not a good time to buy a La Ferrari. Now, I don't know why they're going up in value, probably because Ferrari knew this was gonna happen. They were gonna go down in value. And then they were like, hey, if you want the new La Ferrari replacement, you better have a La Ferrari in your books. Uh, so there's like a profile and well, I'm pretty sure they're scamming everybody to get that car. That's why they're going up, even though they're actually not working. So that being said, the La Ferrari, probably a no. So just over here, there could be something, but it's it's tough because the car, the cars all have such a unique personality. Look at the LP400 Periscopio, sick ass car. But this one right here, exposed carbon Chiron. I really like the car. Well, it looks cool. I'm into matte black. I like matte black. It's one of my favorite. I like white, I like black. I like the big crazy colors, but exposed carbon on the Chiron. That's, a, that's actually a Skyview car. It's really, really, really nice as well. So does it make sense to have two Bugattis? One I don't drive, one I do drive. Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't really think so, but it's, it's like, it's kind of a price point thing. If I can buy that car and I can make money on it and drive it a little bit, I definitely would do it. But I don't know if the market after the Turbion came out, I don't know if the market for a Chiron is going anywhere up. I actually think it's like gonna be more stable and potentially like just trickle downward. As new customers come in for the Chiron, it'll it'll improve the sales. But right now, the Turbion is such a crazy, crazy higher, I mean just, way better than a Chiron type situation. I'm not gonna give my assumptions, but I think the cars are gonna go down a little bit. No, not a lot, but a little bit. So, um, that car is gonna run in probably like five, six cars. And uh, I think we're gonna just watch that one go. This is a place where you have to pay a 12, or basically a 10% fee on everything you buy. So if you buy something for 3 million, you're paying 3.3 million, right? That's a lot of money. I've never in wildest years would believe that an LM would go for over 700 grand. This tells you right now that the Lamborghini market's on fire. My Countach is now worth five million bucks. I mean, I'm dead ass serious. Like it just, everybody knows that Lambos are now the new Ferraris. That's just what it is. It's truly what it is. LM, maybe $300,000 car at its best. That was a non-restored 37,000 kilometer car for 700 grand and multiple people were on it. Real bids, no effing way. Okay, 
What are we down to 600? 610, are we sure? 640. Stefan, thank your bidder. The 640, we are sold. 640. Number 316 is the 1969 Lamborghini. Oh, yeah. Thank you, well, well, the SLRs, aren't they magnificent? They are really a flavour of the last few years. Telephones coming in, as you expect. Low mileage, 10,000, what should we say? 150,000, anyone? 150,000. Come in, 175. 200 now, 200,000. At 200,000, thank you, sir. 220,000. Let's keep it in 20. We're at 220, I have. 230 would be next. We have 220. We'll look at the online in a moment. We have, would you like 230, sir? 230, I have. 230 in the room. The 230 in the room. We'll keep it in 10. A 230. Last chance, dear Roger. A 250. Fair warning now. $250,000. 250. And one of only 845 DBS plantains believed to have been produced in total. I have 40. Do we have 40,000, Steph? 40,000, thank you. 40,000. 45. 50. 55. 60. Okay, thank you. 65, yes. I have. 70, front row. 70,000. Thank you, sir. You've moved. 70,000. Where's the bid? 70,000. 75 for Michael. I have 75 on the telephone. 80,000. 82, 5. 85 will be next. 85. They're going to be small. They're going to be quick, Michael. 87, 5. You know the rules. 87, 5. Try 90, sir. A lot of car for the money. 90,000. 90,000. 90,000, Michael. 95, there we go, small like it. RJ's into the mix at 95. At 97, five, who wants to bid the 100,000? 100,000, we'll go up in fives now, now we post 100,000, but we're at 100,000. 105, RJ versus Andrew, who's going to win? At 105,000, would you like another over there? Would you like another? Well, we're at 105, last, Chance to you guys over on my left, but we're at 105 with RJ's bid out. Are we done? Are we sure? You're absolutely sure. We're at 105. We're at 105 here. 1075. 1075. So rare. Try 110, sir. Try 110, sir. We're at 1075. RJ, do thank him. Thank you so much. Thank you. And 107,500. And we are. You sure, RJ? We are soft. 107.5.